hello everyone welcome to another setup where i'm going to work on this current shunt uh, resistor so this is basically a metal strip which has a particular resistance and it has got a voltage drop of 75 millivolts as you can see uh, for the 50 amp current that's passing through it so there's a very tiny current and we need to amplify this current in order to be read uh, in order for it to be read by this microcontroller whether it be uh, arduino or esp32 if you feed directly you there's a higher chance that that you will run into either no reading or uh, some some random wrong readings there's a high probability because the tiny voltages will fluctuate and the analog to digital digital converters uh, do not show uh, very much uh, reliable performance on very low voltages so this is how you set up this current sensor these two wires uh, the crocodile clips these supply the current or uh, simulate the load which are coming from uh, my riding power supply and the, these two small uh, pins uh, wires will go to an amplifier which is uh, the right here this one is the instrumentation amplifier let me turn on the like this and uh, this is the wrap okay so a proper way to set up this uh, tiny amplifier is to first set the offset and I have set the offset of uh, 1.5 volts because I'm expecting uh, this sensor to be uh, integrated with the ESP32 and ESP in ESP32 the analog to digital converter uh, can sense the voltage up to 3 volts so 1.5 volts is a sort of a mid in the range so whenever and there is a positive current the voltage will go up uh, and this uh, voltage will be amplified in a positive direction towards 3 volts and if the, there is a negative current or in the opposite direction there will be a negative volt and the voltage will drop from uh, 3 volts to 0 volts okay so in my previous video uh, I have uh, set a gain of this uh, amplifier via this uh, pin this potentiometer here uh, to an appropriate value okay you can uh, give it a try but first of all um, before you uh, I will tell you how you will be setting the offset so to set the offset you first need to short these two signals s uh, uh, s minus and s plus with the ground so I have already grounded this uh, s minus thing now I'll put some jumper here and uh, you can see now all three pins ground s minus s plus are uh, uh, connected okay so this essentially tells the oscilloscope uh, that what is your offset so if i go to my oscilloscope you can see that uh, the v max is 1.6 volts okay you can change uh, this this voltage by moving this knob so this knob and if I will move it you can see the wave is going up and down okay so you have to set this uh, offset value to 1.5 volts and it's approximately it okay now it's time to power up this uh, sensor and whatever voltage will go through this amplifier will be uh, here okay so I have connected the wires from the shunt 
sensor to the amplifier if I open up my flashlight and zoom it in you can see that the yellow wire is the negative uh, coming from this uh, shunt here and the white wire is the positive coming from the positive of shunt here okay and uh, yeah the negative pin and the ground pin are uh, common in here and my output is connected to the V out and the ground now let's this my riding power supply is resting at zero so let me set some ampere here and see the changes in the oscilloscope here so this is okay so the ripples that you see in here are from the power supply so because this oscilloscope is sensitive that's why it's catching all these uh, noise signals so for the one ampere so this is the uh, I, I forgot to turn on my power supply so for the one ampere you can see there's a little shift to the top two amperes three amperes four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and goes like that so this is for the positive uh, current over here okay if I go back to zero the voltage uh, drops and if you can see that this uh, sensor can only uh, generate the voltage in millivolts but here the scale is a bit higher it's, uh, the changes are in terms of volts okay so let's uh, do it quickly the voltage goes up and that's what the microcontroller reads and comp uh, relates it to the uh, current okay so let's uh, switch these uh, wires uh, these crocodile clips to simulate the negative current now I have changed the and and the polarity and so this if uh, it's connected to the battery it will simulate the charging and discharging so in here with the negative clip on this side what will happen there will be a negative voltage onto the uh, terminals of uh, instrumentation amplifier and you will see that the uh, the bar the, the voltage output will go down so let's increase the current and you can see the voltage gets decreased okay so it's the the current is, is still uh, like positive but because of the change in polarity which happens when the battery is charged and discharged this will uh, ha happen okay so all i need to do is to uh, calculate this voltage and relate it to the uh, amperes and this is how my friends the high currents are measured high dc currents are measured through this shunt resistor